to go follow Tim Curry. Of course. I too wish to go to the one place not ruined by capitalism. Was it? One place not yet corrupted by capitalism, I think it is. We all want to go to that place. Deep down, all of us do. I'm actually genuinely just looking around for places where I can build those enormous storages now. It's like, I must find them. They will be mine. All right, small ex uh, da -da -da. Mind Control Tower has no... What? Oh, wow, we've actually run out of a lot of stuff all of a sudden. My goodness. All right. Took us a while, but we got there in the end. You learned glass making? Very nice, very nice. I mean, I could already start setting up the thermal desalinator down here, but... Sure, I want to yet. That said, I could I could set up a new steam line down here, a new steam generator, and then just use the steam to desalinate. Wouldn't be the most awful idea, honestly. Well, the evaporation ponds are easy enough to do. Uh, though we're already producing brine, so I could already pop brine into evaporation ponds to start producing the um, salt. But we could totally do this. How much does a high pressure turbine produce? Every 60 seconds, this would produce enough to run a thermal desalinator. Enough high pressure steam to run a thermal desalinator. Two of them, actually. I would consume the whole 60. Each one of those would consume 60. This produces 120. So, yes, I could run two of these off one high-pressure steam turbine. Which would mean I could run two pumps off one high-pressure steam turbine. Uh, sorry, off, off two high-pressure steam turbines. Each of those running into a low-pressure steam turbine. Some of that water being reclaimed. So I could actually make a very efficient system that would produce enormous amounts of drinkable water, of potable water, and vast amounts of brine, which could then be turned into salt or pumped back out. Question is, what would I use to to boil? Um, I mean, I, I could honestly just go with the coal. Produces 48. That's more than enough. One boiler, 18 coal every 60 seconds. This requires how much? Six coal every 60 seconds. So between the two of them, you're using 12 coal every 60 seconds. Um... And it does look like I'm I'm going through all of it, so it's effectively I'd be able to run three of these off the coal that I'll be doing, but I'll also be producing power, which I do need. Because I do I do think, yeah, we're we're quite often running one of these. So it's not a bad idea, you know. Alternatively I could just run the, run just one of them. Um, and expand it later if I really feel the need. That is an option. But if I only run one, then I can't run the low pressure turbine as well. Not consistently, anyway. I guess I could just have it there just kicking in on constantly but I don't know if this has a spool up time as well so realistically the best method is to run the whole thing at full whack at all times 
Hmm. Alright, the most impressive thing I've seen with flooding is another stream of tested flooding an area that had trucks and excavators in it. They drove straight up the near vertical cliff to get out of the water. You see? And yet, when I... <sighs> Plain about not being able to get out, but secretly we all knew, we all knew, deep down we knew they had spider legs. <sighs> Bloody liars, a lot of them. Keeping their spider leg technology to themselves. Scallywags. All right, well, let's have a quick look at how I could set this up then, because if I'm going to do it, I would like to do it properly. So, first and foremost, uh, I can't flip that, sadly. Well, actually, I can, I can, I can, I can. So, we would have something like that right there, followed by a two of these, tonk and a tonk. We would want two cooling towers. Personally, I would love to have them right at the end. Let's move this whole thing forward a bit. Two cooling towers right there. And then these can shimmy back. The other thing, I wonder if I can flip these. No, you can't flip them, sadly. Alright. So, what we would have is piping would come out here. I would hit both cooling towers. Why is that? Oh, no. Of course, it's a bloody... Why? Back here, then. There are, there are lumps and bumps all over this place. I need an excavator to clear this up. Okay, fine. Fine. Excavator time. Let's get you down here. Sad thing is, these trucks are going to have to go a long way. Over here you go. I'm going to give you two truck, three trucks. One for each excavator. <laughs> They're going to carry this stuff so far. Because um, I'm fairly certain none of that, yeah, none of that is... Uh, we need to dig this up rather than down. I suppose... Well, since I'm going to be doing some work over here anyway, I guess I could just throw together some... Yeah, I'm going to just cancel the... Cancel those for now, just so they don't waste time. Oh, there we are. Perfect. It was a little bit late on getting that done, but it's fine. Right, so with that in place, I can now continue my way down we'll get through all of that just fill in the flooring and then we will do the rest with excavators doing a good job over here though quite happy with that Um, the more I can shunt that to the side, the better it'll be. Oh, the mining designations it's talking about are the last ones down here. They are almost through all of those trees, which is somewhat worrying. Concerning, to say the least. But we will be soon massively expanding our production of power. I'm not going to worry too much about the fact that we're going to be using coal. And later on, maybe I'll change it. But for now, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Oh, of course, you decided to go for the really big digs first, didn't you? Get down here. I know it's like one dig each, but come on. There we go. Last little bit over there. And there we go, perfect. 
I may actually expand that out. To a much larger area. And I... You know what? I think I will. I think I will actually add in a couple of things over here. Just a few storages. Just to grab the worst of it. That is the exact opposite of just a few small storages. That is not going to let me move through here anymore. No, I'm going to have to have a little bit more room than that. Sadly. Uh, ooh, actually, you know what? Since I've got an instance of those storages already built, I could just copy them. That would make it very convenient for me. Can I perhaps just squeeze them in there? Yes, I can. There we go. And then... Tunk, tunk. This one will be rock. This one will be dirt. Want that emptied. And the same here. There we are. Should be fairly easy. This is the problem with having too many mining designations that aren't being fulfilled as I get complacent with the message. Oh, we've done a lot of work down there, haven't we? And we'll move this whole area across. There we go, that should fix that one. That will be fixed shortly. Why are you not producing? Oh my lord, really? Why did you produce taters? What? I see. I see. I understand now. It's okay. Crisis. Somewhat averted. The reason why that happened is that there were already taters there. Sad but true. You know, maybe I should adjust the positioning here a little bit. It's kind of late now though, I guess, but Still, it would have been a good idea to have done that. Can I go over that at all? Yes, I can. You can go over buildings, by the way. It's actually rather awesome. gonna try and do it's gonna be really tight now but and I won't be able to use a connector but if I do this they will both be able to input in there This can accept taters for now. Okay, taters are the first things moving in. But I'm going to allow truck export, and I'm going to tell them to specifically empty this thing out. There we go. Now that's for the water. There we are. 
As soon as they've emptied out the taters, then it'll switch across the green. Right. That was a little bit of a part, wasn't it? There you go. Last tater is gone. Galaxy is at peace. There we go. Marvellous. How are we doing over here? Looks like they have finished loading. Perfect. Okay, time to go back to uh, bringing this up. If we get onto that reasonably soon, we should be okay. So, for the time being, you are refocusing your efforts down here. And we're going to remove those and add these two. That's actually really nice. Having a couple of these storage areas around the place so I can just switch them up wherever they need to be. That works out quite well for me. Okay, in terms of the sawmill, we can now go ahead and load for that. Start loading. I suspect they will have to finish uh, unloading their um, the scoops, the buckets, before they move on. We do not require more mind control towers. Yeah, the high pressure should be on auto, and the low pressure should be on full whack. Yep. Uh, to Zangiru was asking about that. Now, as for our work down here, there, one there, then like low pressure boiler, there, two of these. We'll have a replica system from the other, uh, our current, actually, you know, I should have just gone ahead and uh, copied that over thinking about it. That was silly of me. Oh, well. And down here, get there, up, up, oh, that is not what I wanted to connect to, sadly. Now this does produce a banking curve. And that is a shame. Um, to that end, maybe what I should do is cancel that. Come out by one and then down. Yeah, I think that works a bit better. Then I've got a connection point if I really want to take that out any further I can. Uh, and on this side, are you still working over here? Yeah, I guess once they started clearing out an area, 
they were gonna finish it. That's kind of annoying. Um, well, I mean, I say it's annoying. I actually quite like the idea that they've started the job so they're gonna finish it, but doesn't help me in this particular instance. Now we're going to need a boiler, and this is going to be a plain old coal boiler right there. We could slot it in there, I think, but instead, well, I guess it doesn't hurt to do that. I offset it just a bit more. Because I'm going to need to take... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm cooling the steam, but I don't want to do that, do I? No. I want to send the low-pressure steam in here. We will have 48... <laughs> uh, oh, no, 48 depleted. It doesn't use depleted. Uses low pressure. Right. Hmm. So probably then I, I'm just going to want one. I, I don't want to go for the full setup. And we're also never going to want it to stop um, stop running, because if it ever does stop running, it'll stop producing the low steam. And we need the low steam. What I could do, since this is going to be producing enough low steam to run two desalinators, which is what I'm going to need, I could... have I guess I could have three of them in this chain kind of expands it out a bit but in a way we could do that by moving this down by one and then having four in the in the chain It's going to become quite a hog for the steam, though. Which is the issue. At that point... A single coal boiler won't be able to produce enough high pressure steam for all of them. No, I, I, I think what we should do here is just just have a a single uh, a single um, power setup. What I could do is have one of these dump its low pressure steam to run two desalinators and then the other 24 high pressure steam could also run another two desalinators so the boiler would be running at full whack but it would be producing absolutely enormous volumes of water Oh wait, I you know what? I was not paying attention to the fact that uh, the low pressure steam can only handle 21 units of seawater at a time. So no, we act, we kind of need the boiler to run 
two thermal desalinators, realistically speaking. Um, I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Just a little bit of extra extra power over here. Because I definitely don't want to... Realistically, I don't want to run four thermal desalinators. That's an enormous amount of water. Just don't need it. But instead of burning off all of this to run two uh, basic distillers, though they, I mean, they're producing a decent amount of, of uh, water as it is. Keep reading the first part of that as, well, uh, at least the gate is happy because I read the happy from the line below. What? While watering the garden, thought about fixing something. I have an iron bar that's holding the car gate closed, but it keeps getting rusty and stuck, so I thought I'd grind it down a bit. I did, uh, but I also managed to cut my thumb in three spots while doing so. Ouch, Red Sky. <laughs> Dear Lord, man. I realize uh oh what's backseat pass uh it, so you can backseat because otherwise you shouldn't this is rude but if you if you've been watching long enough to have enough damper ducats that you can afford the backseat pass then and you're willing to use them then you know I'm sure you, it's quite an important thing that you want to share I'm actually getting fairly low now down there which is good we might be able to start considering building these last couple. Might still be a little bit rough. Yeah, I still can't quite fit those in, but I'm close. Yeah. If you, if you backseat without the pass, there's a chance that you might be sent to visit road train in the house. That's a terrible thought. I mean, the other thing we could do is we could just have the coal boiler there and just not use all of its output. Because it'll only produce more once it needs to. And that is always an option. Like, I'm trying to use the whole thing, but there's no strict need to. Oh, hey, Tatties. Wow. Orbital Potato has arrived. Space Potato has come to look on Earthbound Brethren. A meteoric potato shall land in the tater crater, filling it in one fell swoop. Hello, mate. How are you doing? See, when you spell taters like that, it almost sounds like traitor, which hmm, might actually be compelling. Oh, you're playing some Captain of Industry too, are you, buddy? How's your playthrough going? Go, getting down there now. Get this in position. Oh, down one. Yeah. And build those. We are almost to the lower level. I'm going to copy these. Did that work? Yes. All right the last bits of the excavating done and so we shall immediately designate all of the trees over here to be collected now have we finished loading the ship yes we have marvelous all right let's get out to the sawmill then deliver cargo off it goes are we there yet? Almost forgot to do that. This stream. <laughs> what? The stream just wouldn't be the same if someone didn't use the backseat pass to ask, are we there yet? It's true. Alright, I think what we're going to do is we'll run two thermal desalinators from the output of a single pump. Well, there will do. Actually, we can probably bring those closer.
It is a shame that we can't have these uh, connectors like that to connect up automatically, because that would be ideal. But oh well. Uh, we will have this go in, and then also there. No? Doesn't want to right now. That's fine. Uh, let's build that then. You mean incompatible start, you scoundrel? Oh. Right. Yeah, okay, I, I can see. Once we remove this, then that will hook in. That's fine. I am somewhat tempted to run a, just an inefficient steam generator over here. Now that we've worked out that this is going to just be complete overkill. So, instead, we would want a single boiler. And maybe later on we could run it off other things. Um, I mean, we're eventually going to have so much fuel gas, I don't know what we're going to be doing with it all. But for the time being, let's just set this up to run a single boiler. That will go about there. Uh, that will bring out this over here, and then that can go up and over. Like so. Now, any excess can split off to the side to run a single high pressure turbine. That, of course, is going to point the wrong way because reasons. Uh, alternatively, I could have it point uh, it dumping out the other way, but uh, I think this will do. That will run around the corner. There we are. Have you assigned trucks to the woodcutters? Yeah, yeah, all the truck, all the woodcutters have trucks. So have a look. So I go over to them. Each one has got four. Why can't you get to, to one? Oh. Alright, fair enough. Uh, it's undes well, that, those ones can probably be reached. Right, now that that's done, I'm going to retask this mine control tower. It's going to drop off to these locations and its area will return to being this whole mountain here. We're going to just excavate this up. Will be grand. That's a fair old job for him. Now this outputs one megawatt. I will have these two in place. I don't care if this runs up or down, but I will add in a flywheel. Or I could just have them run permanently, I guess. Um, but I will have the auto balancer on, on this, I think. It'll spin up and then it'll cool down and that'll give us a little bit of uh, a little bit of oomph. Uh, we will have a cooling tower. This will output 24 low steam. Which means one of these will be sufficient. I guess I could. Lock that right in there, actually. Let's see what I can do with that. I move that down as far as I could. And I hooked you up directly. I'm going to have to have a little bit of pipe spaghetti over here, but it is totally possible for me to have this. Don't even pretend you don't love this pipe spaghetti chat, because I know you'll be lying if you do. This can come around here. Hop over. Hook in there. 
we'd have a little exhaust stack. I only need one. Right there. Now, of course, this does kind of lock off that side, which does suck, in fact. So what we will do is we'll start expanding that side out. To give us full access. But this would work here. We want the water situation to get priority from both of these. Each one of these will be outputting almost enough to saturate a single pipe. So I'm going to go with a double pipe. Like so. Makes things nice and easy. This would then output brine. Which we could throw into some thermal pools. I'm going to go with the non-powered it would every 60 seconds it would produce 12 or I could get it to produce 24 but realistically each one of these is outputting 24 so just two of these yeah I could, two of these would be fine or I could have one of these it doesn't make much sense to So this will pretty much use up all of the brine. One there. One there. And since it's only 24 each they're going to be outputting, it makes it pretty comfortable for us to use regular pipes. I really wanted to be certain that they were both getting enough. I could use a splitter. Uh, I guess I could. Because it's it's a one-time cost. That, that's the thing about splitters is they they're not a. It's not like I'm paying for them forever. I don't think they use power. No, they do not. So that is a perfect place to use them then. This is an incredibly tight build now. This is a hopelessly tight build. Uh, priority is out there. Uh, priority is in here. So I'm going to recycle this water as a priority. And we're going to send it to keep to sustain the process as a priority. This one will just split evenly. I am going to need a delivery location for coal. And an export location for salt. That is tight. But, strictly speaking, might not need that there anymore. In fact, would be better not to have it there anymore. This whole area is kind of a mess. Um, I can get... I can make better use of my excavators if I just quickly task them at priority to excavate that and make a little bit more room for me to to work around here what is wrong can you not get out there where are you trying to get to can you not travel around this no, you can't. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we will cancel that one then. That should allow you to move past. I would hope. Still a no? No, there we go. Well, what we could do is... Since I don't think we're going to need to expand this system out much, if at all, beyond this, I could shunt everything down a little bit.
go. I really hope that this is spinning in the right direction, you know, straight towards the town, just to remind them, just to remind them that the massive industrial-sized flywheel at any second could tragically burst its, uh, burst its axle and just trundle off into the town, crushing the entire thing. Not that I would ever suggest that such a thing would happen, you know, that, that I would, for any reason, decide that the townspeople needed to be reminded how tenuously they grasp continued survival. But if they came to that conclusion of their own volition, well, that's, you know, I can't control that. Can you come up? Oh, right, okay. Yep. And then these two would simply come up and down. Now, as for the brine, I would want priorities out there, but... Should there be too much brine, then I would want it dumped in this direction. Brine could... the brine dump could be there. We'll get all of that set up, though. I'm going to unpause it and let them build it up as they can. That should be good enough. This would be coal, and we would want it to be kept full. This would be salt, and, you know, that could just be uh, emptied as time came. I nuked my one town with the reactor. First time I set one up. Oh. Uh, so they can go into meltdown. Wow. I've just seen the thumbnail for your latest rap video, and what are you doing to that shark? Don't blame me. That was Shelap. That wasn't me holding the shark. That was me looking at the person holding the shark. Oh, she loves, she loves behind me. What? It's true, though. You were the one holding the shark. She's giving me an evil eye. Yeah, I merely stuck its head on my head like a mask. You were doing questionable things, as Dutrius pointed out. There's nothing, nothing wrong with wearing someone else's face as your face. It's just the way it is. It's a time-honored tradition. You got me in trouble, chat. Rude. Wow, they're getting that done fast, aren't they? Right. Ship is done. Ship can go home. Have we got a shift over here? We do. How many shifts? Let's put it down to one for now. One shift. Oh, ah, balls. I shouldn't have sent you home. I should, oh, I should have had you load up. I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb. Massive dumb. World class dumb. However, we are going to delete this. So that's gone. I'm going to set up the second, much larger cargo dock. How much further out have we got this to go? We've got that to go out a long way. Could we plan for future expansion, chat? Kind of feeling we should. Don't want to cross this one. I wish I would show you which ones are at risk of you crossing into. That would genuinely be useful, but sadly... No. They have, they've done a ridiculously good job over here, to be fair. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Yep. This stage, we're going to delete that. I'm going to quick remove. Then I am going to 
branch out and in. there we go and quick build as well sod it we need a little bit of water to start the process anyone deliver water because if someone could you're trying yeah you're trying balls because once the process starts the process sustains itself okay okay i just need to get it started so it's an easy enough thing to do just a tiny storage right there Unity Builder, just for the sake of getting a little bit of water in. Will you deliver down there? Yes, you will. And that should kick it off. And boom. Right, now I want this... Well, I'm going to wait for this to start kicking in first. go. Water is available now. So, we can get rid of this. No more need. Now, this system is going to back up relatively fast. 